Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lorenzo. Here's where I just talk about the journey to becoming a respiratory therapist. I will have timestamps included at the bottom. So if you want to quickly go ahead to a different part of the video, feel free to go ahead and do that. But today I'm going to be talking about how I passed the TMC and CSC, which if you're not sure, the TMC is a therapist multiple choice exam and the CSC is a clinical simulations exam. So I passed both exams on my first try. And le let me tell you, those exams are no joke. And really it's just because there's a lot of questions. So the TMC is a 160 question test. And the thing about that one that makes it unique is that it almost has a cutoff or it does have a cutoff essentially. So in order to take your CSC, right, which you get your RRT when you pass your CSC and you get your CRT, which is a certified respiratory therapist after you pass your TMC. However, again, to get your RRT or to take your CSC, you have to pass the high cut of the TMC. I know that was a lot of word play, but hopefully you're, you're catching along. So the minimum score to make on your TMC is a 66%. So you can pass with that and get your CRT and be fine to a certain degree however obviously most of us are chasing our rrt and honestly most hospitals right now are only looking for rrts as well so with that that just means that if you pass but don't make the high cut you will have to retake the tmc in order to take the csc to get your rrt so the passing high cut score is uh, 72 percent or greater and so if you pass that then of course you get your crt and then you're eligible again to take the csc the the clinical simulations there's 22 simulations that are actually predetermined so you can actually go on the mbrc website and see what simulations or how the breakdown is for the simulations for you so you know which ones to study now you may not know the scenario but you'll know which type of scenario they will be, whether it be trauma, whether it be neonatal repeats. It's just good to know that it, it just helps. So you might know with the study and pretty much that one is based on a scoring system in a sense where you have options to pick from, many options, right? They'll say, hey, here's a patient, here's what's going on with them, essentially assess them or what would you like to do based off of this first things that we mentioned, right? And so you select all the things you wanna do, and thing in your selections, it'll give you a whole bunch. And you'll see this as you're practicing and going through the CAC practice exams. But for these, you have to select the right things. And each one you select could have a different point awarded to it. So let's say you picked, you know, do a blood draw or a chest x-ray, right? Those could be one point, two points. You don't know. However, the goal of the CSC is to pretty much get or pick as many points as possible more than wrong points so you have to hit a threshold of points to pass the csc which is a little bit different because on each scenario as it gives you options to choose from you can have more than one right answer there may be a best answer but then it may be a second best answer again point based as well so you can have a three pointer or two pointer right or a one pointer or worse the wrong ones right they will be negative and those are detracting from your points. So let's say, you know, you have, you're selecting things you wanna do and you pick four answers. Let's say two are right and two are wrong. So essentially you have a zero cause they cancel each other out. The only way they wouldn't is if one of those selections were a higher point. Let's say one was three points, one was one and the things you selected wrong were only one point each. So then you would have one point essentially total out of everything you selected, right? So the goal of CSC is one, you have to know and select the right thing. Then also you want to do that. So, you know, you're, you're doing, providing the right treatment for a patient and you're able to process the test, right? However, it's, it's about getting those points, right? You want to get as many points as possible. And you'll learn this. They'll say, you know, both the TMC and the CSC is pretty much just test taking, right? The MBRC, they're looking at it at a certain way. And so you have to pretty much think about these things in a certain way to pass these tests the way that they view it. And you'll find out that as you're maybe going through clinicals and whatnot, you know, real world, right, can all obviously change a lot of different things versus how you treat some of the, the patients or scenarios. However, based on MBRC, this is how you should do something. So that's a little bit about both the TMC and the CSC. So pretty much I made it in a point to myself 
I wanted to pass both my TMC and my CSC before I even finished off phase two really. And actually myself and the other, my other classmates kind of all had that same goal and mindset that we wanted to do that. So, so the TMC, it was a hard test because of the time, right? It's just you and your thoughts sitting down at the computer. However, the biggest thing is that with almost with anything, honestly, if you prepare, then you'll be fine, right? Preparation is the, one of the keys in, to anything in terms of being successful at it. So I, we prepared, we studied it a lot, and that helped us pass that knowledge-based TMC. You know, at one point, just to be honest, I was like, man, I definitely, you know, failed this. Cause it feels like, which you'll hear this a lot. They'll say, some people will say, if you feel like you failed, then you you actually did good, which is kind of kind intuitive. Like I actually don't like that. You know, I want to know that I pass and feel confident. And of course they say the vice versa. If you feel confident, then more likely maybe you didn't do so as well. Now, although the opposite was true for me, I did prepare. I think I really felt that way more so just due to maybe nerves some, you know, it's the first, first time taking a test. However, I, I finished with about 10, 20 minutes left. I was able to kind of go back and review just a few more questions that I bookmarked because they do allow you to bookmark. And uh, I came out and I actually went with one of my classmates and he passed and then I passed and I was so, grateful that for that time and that I passed it. So for the CSC, I didn't have the chance to take it right before I left for phase two. I actually took it in transition out of phase two actually. So we graduated and due to there being no time slots available for me to take the CSC really for all of us in a good time slot, I actually took it three days after our graduation date I had to travel through San Antonio to my duty station. So I went ahead and said, hey, I'll stop here, um, take the test, find a spot and hopefully pass. And the rest of the ride home will either be good or somewhat down, right? Depending on how I did. And so I took it, nobody else was there taking the test and I came out, did my time and passed, thankfully. Leading up to that time, also we, like I said, there was a lot of studying a lot of materials that we had. Some things that I want to talk about are the study materials that I use or that we use to study. I'll first talk about the TNC specific things that we use to study for that test and then talk about the CSC specific things that we use as well. Now, there are some websites that covered both exams, but that would be up for you to decide on what you would like to use, of course. So for the first thing that I want to go based off of is what you get when you graduate from phase one, not from phase two, but so for phase one, you're gonna be using Kettering, right? So Kettering is a program and a website where you get books. Uh, they all, they have so many different resources to use to study. It's actually my favorite. The guy will break down each topic so well, so understandable and simple. And so I was able to retain that more. Of course, you can walk through with the study guide that you'll get for the program through Kettering. And there's other things that you can use. Through the Kettering website also, there are different tests you can take you get a certain amount of coins if you will and so you can or credits you can use those credits to select which test to take and they're practice tests of course but to use that to help study you can also get more credits which actually isn't a bad price what i would do or what we did was kind of combined you know and say hey like i'll get some credits you get some credits and then we'll just take them together so that you can take multiple different topics or tests on the different topics together and learn as you go. That audio that he also has or that Kettering has was amazing. It was, again, the same thing. It, it goes through and reads through the book as well, through the study guide. And so I was able to just kind of listen to that and really help retain and get a good grasp and understanding. So the next one I want to talk about is Lindsey Jones. Lindsey Jones is one that I had heard about doing some pre-research prior before going to the course and even other respiratory therapists, what they use, who aren't even going through or who didn't go to the military side, but just in general, just civilian side. And they mentioned Lindsey Jones. And so I didn't really get into it. Or we didn't get into it until somebody had brought it up and well, actually one of our instructors did. And we went to it, got a login and started using that. And Lindsey Jones is also really, really good. The guy who does that, um, and when I say a guy, is. is mainly meaning audio. He's the main one that as you're going through the course and online and you click on certain scenarios, and there's a main guy who's breaking down and talking about each scenario and break it down on each topic for you to understand it better. And so, and again, the same thing for Kettering. So Lindsey Jones, they break it down really well. I, 
I can say enough about Lenny Jones as it's a great other resource apart from Kettering to use. I know for me, those two really helped me tremendously, especially when it came down to the CSE part more so. I know for Kettering, because it's more, it's a, it's a study base on the different topics, we didn't really use it for TMC more so. Now it goes in, in like a study guide format. So you're gonna learn things that you need for the TMC just by knowledge and understanding. However, Lizzie Jones has actual TMC practice tests. So you can actually use that, take some practice tests on it for the TMC and it kind of help you out that way. Next, um, another one of my favorites, and I know I said Lindsey Jones and Kettering were my favorite, but I wanna give a shout out to Rep Story Coach on YouTube. If you haven't seen him or already done some research or just go to YouTube and type in Rep Respiratory Coach. He has so many great videos that, that literally talk about every single topic as far as res respiratory care, ventilators and ventilator management. You talk about PFTs, cardiac, like all of it. It's all there. And he, he does a great job and breaking it down so you can understand in a very simple, practical way. He walked you through it. I used him a lot with especially going through the course with things that you may not understand or even going back to things that you may have forgotten or maybe need a little bit more explanation on. And so he's a great resource that I highly recommend using and looking up so that you can definitely help get ahead with some of the tests and knowledge that you'll have to know. I also want to mention and talk about respiratory therapy zone. I use them quite a bit, definitely a lot for the TMC. They have a great portion there for the TMC where you just take a lot of questions and you answer them multiple choice and they have a breakdown for each answer and why that's the case. They also have a lot of resources. So does respiratory coach. He also has his own website that I highly recommend you going to. He has his own like boot camp and things you can purchase on your own. But also some free resources, just like respiratory therapy zone to use, whether it be normal values and things like that in PDF form. So you can save them to your phone, kind of have those. So you can kind of go back and reference those whenever you may need them for your memory. And so both of those are great. Again, respiratory therapy zone is another great resource for sure that we use, especially for the TMC. And then the other one I want to mention is actually the MBRC website. They also have practice tests you can take on their own website. You can sign up, log in, which you'll have to do so anyway, and take some tests. I took a couple of them. And so it's another great place where you can kind of get some more practice if you like. I use that for the CSE mainly. And so again, just another resource to take for the exams that you can also utilize. Honorable mention, I don't want to forget about Quizlet. Of course, we all know about Quizlet by now. Hopefully, if you haven't, Quizlet is just a, another online platform where you can log in, sign up, and people all over the world have gone through different programs, right, of all different topics and things like that. So you can pretty much learn about anything in terms of notes and note cards that they may have made and learn from it and, and use those to help you study for whatever program or topic that you're going through. So Quizlet, of course, we use that. Of course, we would make them ourselves and use them in play games and whatnot. So definitely another great resource to use. And I won't, wouldn't count that out in terms of if you're needing something else to help you study. So I will have the resources that I mentioned that we use to pass the TMC and the CSC down below. So if you're looking to rehome your skills or knowledge, just go back to study maybe for a test you have coming up or just to practice, right? It's always good to keep on practicing. Then I'll have those listed down below for you to take a look at. If you have any other questions for me, please let me know. Send me an email, write them down below in the comments and I'll take a look at it. I try my best to get back to your questions and comments as quickly as possible. But uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful journey. I'm now done with phase two. I've obtained my CRT and my RRT, thankfully, and I've obtained my associate's degree that you get from it as well, and I'm thankful. So now the next journey is obviously working. Uh, now that I'm a reservist, like I mentioned, so my thing is to now go and find a hospital, which I have found one. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. However, I'm excited to start working and I'll maybe talk about the interview process. I can make another video about that. Let me know what you like. But anyways, uh, it was great to catch up. Hopefully this video helped you all and, and God bless.